Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to prepare your Angular project for server-side rendering with Angular Universal and publish it using Firebase Hosting and Cloud Functions. Let's begin by getting a better understanding on what's happening in the background. When you publish a normal Angular application, it will get downloaded and executed in the browser. Each page is generated locally in the browser. You will always get the same HTML page displayed on any of the pages you visit. This causes search engines and social media sites to think that your site only has one page. When your Angular application is using server-side rendering, contents on a page are generated in the server first and then distributed to the browser. This means that your application may render more quickly, and it allows your app to be visible on search engines and social media platforms using the Search Engine Optimization Techniques, or SEO. Each page can be different, and it will allow the search engine web crawlers to index your page information. If you have not already, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. To begin, open a new or existing Angular project and add Angular Universal to the project. The command will create and update a couple of files in the project, and that's all you have to do. The application is ready for server-side rendering. To publish the project using Firebase, go to the angular.json file and change the output path for the build. Replace the project's name with functions. Scroll down until you see the server property and do the same. By doing this, it will place our production files in a folder called functions when the project is built. Save the project. In the terminal, use npm run build colon ssr to build the project. Once the project is built, you can see a folder called dist. Inside of this folder is another folder called functions, and inside the functions folder are the production files. Go to the server.ts file. This file was added to the project when Angular Universal was added to the project. The server will use this file to generate the contents for each page in the site. In the this folder variable, replace the project name with functions. We have to do this because we need to tell the server where to look for the website files, and they are inside a folder called browser. However, this path will only work if we're running the application locally on the computer. When we are in the local environment, the root directory is where the server.ts file is, and our website files are in the browser folder. When we deploy the project to Cloud Functions, the root directory will change to the functions directory, and the website files will no longer be in the path we defined earlier. To fix this, create a variable called website files location. and use the production property in the environment object to check which mode we're in. If we are in the production mode, return browser, since the web files will be located in the browser folder. If not, return this slash functions slash browser. Replace the path with the variable and save the project. In the terminal, instead of using ng-serve to start the local server, use npm run dev colon ssr. When the server is ready, launch your application in the browser. If your app is running correctly, you're ready to test the code in production. Close the server in the terminal and rebuild the project. When the project is rebuilt, 
change into the disk directory. Then initialize Firebase hosting and functions. Select yes to install the required dependencies. For the public directory, use the location of the browser folder and then configure it as a single page application. Once the process is completed, go to the package.json file for the project and copy all the dependencies your app will need. Go to the package.json file for cloud functions and then add them to its dependencies. Save the project. In the terminal, change to the functions directory and install the new packages. When the packages are installed, go to the index.js file and create a request function. For the first parameter, use the express app located in the server.ts file. When the project is built, the code in this file will be placed in the main.js file inside the server folder. To get the express app, go to the index.js file and import the main.js file. Then pass in the express app in the request. Go to the firebase.json file. Change destination to function. This will tell Firebase hosting to call a function from cloud functions instead of using an HTML page. For the content, replace it with the name of the function you want to call from the index.js file. Keep in mind that I must match the name of the function or it will not work. Delete the index.html page that was generated when Firebase hosting is initialized. Save the project. Install the Firebase emulators in the terminal. Get the hosting address that is generated and paste it in the browser. If your app is running correctly, you can deploy and publish it online. Open the terminal in the disk directory and deploy hosting and functions. To see if you successfully implemented Angular Universal and server side rendering, go to your project in the Firebase console. In hosting, click on the link that's generated for your project and view the page source. If you see that there are contents inside the app root element, it means that you have done everything correctly. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video.